What's up guys, it's Boss here and welcome back to episode number 4 now of Let's Play Ultimate Team. But before I get started, if you are looking for cheap and reliable Ultimate Team coins, then please do check out Cheap UT Coins. Their link to their website will be in the description of this video. So, as you saw then at the end of episode 3, we do have left to go and pick up a couple more players. And the, the comments were literally saying, I had already recorded the episode, so pretty much whatever was said in the comments wouldn't have been taken into account for the left back and the right back. But the top rated comment when I checked the uh, episode number three was by Jose Enrique as the left back and by Jarvis as your left midfielder. And that is extremely weird because they are the two players that I have gone and brought into the squad. You can see here, I mean, I went and bought Jarvis for 1,100 coins and Jose Enrique was a little bit more expensive. He cost 2,000 coins. Um, so now the starting 11 is complete. I mean, I know uh, Joe Barton doesn't fit in there with the chemistry, um, but we are going to be going and bringing in a new centre defensive midfielder later on in this episode so you're gonna have to stick around to the end to see who we do pick up to replace Joey Barton so as you know then our recent form has been excellent we got disconnected from the first game which was on foot well EA are just cunts um, and then the next two games we absolutely smashed so going into this game I am feeling extremely confident now he is looking like a dangerous opposition 76 chemistry is by far no means uh, shit I mean it is definitely going to be difficult to beat this guy but look at that for a header in the third minute by Demba Bar, absolutely smashing header, um, but besides that the first half was extremely quiet, so I found it extremely difficult um, to find you guys find you guys any highlights, I mean he was going for a couple long shots, um, which I don't know didn't well, you can see from the scoreline he hadn't scored, so it wasn't exactly working out for him a lovely delivery into the box to Wilfred Bonny again, got him on the score sheet in this game, which was as expected I mean, the headers Bonnie and Demba Bar bring to the squad are absolutely unbelievable. I mean, just get the ball into the box for them, and they're almost guaranteed to get their head onto the ball. Demba Bar here then with a really nice strike. The ball found his way to his feet um, from a from a corner, and he had a lot of space, so I just take, took the shot with him, and it found its way smashing into the back of the net, which was absolutely awesome. And from here, it was pretty much just a smashing. I mean, Sigurdsson, oh my god, that goal honestly gave me a semi-boner. It was absolutely lovely. Took, took the ball down, took a touch, take, took made control of the ball on his left foot, just curled it around the, past the goalkeeper. Wilfred Bonny here showing what he's best at, the strength and his finishing are absolutely unbelievable from this player um, and that was a really nice chipped uh, ball by him. Again, just showing how easy it really is to take the ball past the goalkeeper with Bonny. I mean, normally I've never found it that easy to take the ball past goalkeepers in this game. Uh, but as soon as the final whistle did go, uh, he did obviously like turn off his Xbox. So it did count as a normal 7-0 win. It didn't, even though it displayed a disconnected message, um, I did hear the final final whistle, and uh, the EA servers took it as a 90-minute completed goal. So that was a really nice three points. That was bumping us up to uh, that actually gave us the promotion. Uh, we only did need three more points from that game to get the promotion. So now we are going to be looking for the division title. So we come up against probably the toughest squad that we've going to be uh, seeing for quite a while I'd imagine a really nice silver team but look at this for a run by Demba Bar no one closed him down and look at that for a strike from just inside or outside the box I don't know I'll let you guys decide whether that was inside or outside the box but it was a really really nice goal unfortunately my defending was absolutely shoddy I mean I don't know what I was doing there between the defenders it was absolutely shocking gave the ball to Obasi and he managed to grab himself the equaliser um, however I was keeping up the shots I mean I don't know who that was there. I think that was Downing pulled off a really, really nice shot. I mean, he's not exactly one of those players that pulls off shots, but that was a really nice one. So from that shot from Downing, we did get the corner, which did give us the lead with a nice header coming from Torre. That is Colo Torre. Honestly, I think he's one of the best centre-backs in the Barclays Premier League and Ultimate Team. There you can see Bonnie. Look at that for a touch. A nice turn. Finish on his right foot. Curls it past the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper has absolutely no chance. So going into half-time, we are 3-1 up. So I was feeling really confident going into this, um, going into the second half, and it only just got better. I mean, look at that for a strike from Demba Bar on his right foot on his out outside. I mean, look at that, bang, bang, straight past the goalkeeper, and that did mean that we were four one up. And unfortunately, I couldn't keep it a four one. He did manage to um, get a goal with Akpala. Uh, he was absolutely smashing me in the second half. That Ak Akpala, or however you pronounce his name, I don't know my Nigerian players or anything like that. Uh, but that game did end 4-2, and you can see from the end game stats, he had seven shots on target. I had seven shots on target. Fortunately for me, I managed to bury four of them, and he only managed to uh, bury two. So we did get the division title, and that 
that did give us the amount of coins that I did want to go and buy the centre defence and midfielder um, that I did want to bring into the squad. And we did go and buy Javi Garcia simply because his strength is absolutely insane. I think it's something in the high 80s or low 90s. But that strength along with uh, Dikite and Colo Torre are absolutely immense. The strength those three players do have are absolutely insane. And the fact he does cost 1,300 coins was absolutely awesome. So going into the third and fourth final game of this episode we've played two games already and we have got six points from those two games so just like the other two games i'm going into this game extremely confident and that confidence only does does get boosted when bonnie gets on the score sheet in the f fifth minute and that was a really crap pass from the goalkeeper he was pretty that was pretty much just offering wilfred bonnie a goal. That's basically just putting a goal on a plate and asking Wilfred Bonnie to eat it. And that's what he is going to do. And this first half was simply annihilation. The corners I was getting, I don't know how they weren't finding themselves into the back of the net. I mean, the first save there was coming from the goalkeeper. Then I was denied by the post. Then I was denied by the goalkeeper again. Then I had another corner. And simply, I could not get the ball into the back of the net. Now, fortunately for me, I mean, if I was 0-0 at this stage of the game, I would have been absolutely raging. But the fact I was 2-0 up was allowing me to uh, not get as stressed as I would have if I was 1-0 down, for example. But the amount of saves the goalkeeper was making in that first half from uh, from corners was absolutely insane. But you can see from the halftime stats, 10 shots on target compared to my opposition's two. It was pretty much all downhill from the hit for him and all uphill for me, which was absolutely awesome. Getting a lot of goals here. I was denied by the goalkeeper again, but I whipped in the ball for a second chance. And unfortunately, it did hit his centre-back and it did go in and find its way to the back of the net. For an own goal, I kept on that pressure in the 60th minute. A lovely whipped in ball to uh, Bonnie. And that was pretty much game over for him. There was no way he was going to be finding his way back into the game. I was getting shots after shots after shots off. And then the guy was just decided, that's it. I can't play anymore. I'm going to quit and with every single quitting, let's play ultimate team. If my opposition does quit from me, they will be receiving a message seeing it's CNR. So that is the first ever CNR message in this Let's Play Ultimate Team series on FIFA 14. And this is literally how the game just did end. I mean, we were both just stood there. I think I went on my computer. He just time wasted. Well, he didn't even time waste. He just walked away from his Xbox, I think. Uh, and then exactly the same as the case earlier in the game. At the 90th minute, when the final whistle did go, he just turned off his Xbox. So you can see there a really nice 5 0 victory. And that did give us our first three points in Division 9. I think it's Division nine we're in now i'm not too sure but anyway that is all for this episode three games played nine points uh obtained i'm gonna say i haven't used that word for quite a while and as you can see here bonnie and demba bar six games each and bonnie scored 15 and demba bar scored eight those two are absolute animals I would, I'd, if I could, I'd kiss them because they are absolutely smashing the amount of goals they can into the back of the net. But as you can see, we've got three and a half thousand coins. This is the squad we are going to be ending the episode on. We've just bought in Javi Garcia in the centre defence mid position. So with those three and a half thousand coins, who would you like me to bring into the squad in the next episode? Please do let me know in the comments below. I'm going to try and get another episode out to you guys this evening. And that was the second episode, so I hope you do enjoy that. As always... If we can smash 3,000 likes, that would be absolutely insane. I will get to the other episode uploaded for you guys as soon as possible. And until my next one, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.